Hey y'all, it's Ben Meredith with GiveWP. Just wanted to show you really quickly how to set up a Zap on Zapier that will send a handwritten note to your donors after they donate. So it's pretty fantastic. There's four steps total. First, there's the trigger, uh, which you set up uh, the connection between Give and Zapier with our Give's Zapier add-on. Uh, next, there's a filter that tells it some conditions uh, that would make it continue. I'll cover all of this more in detail in just a moment. Secondly, there's an action, which I just put in a delay uh, to delay it for one day. And then finally, uh, the action of sending a card, uh, which is uses handwritten.com's uh, API and uh, Zapier add-on. So it's pretty fantastic. So let's get started. The first thing you do, um, if you haven't already looked at our Zapier uh, documentation it walks you through in detail how to do this specific step uh, but basically connect up to gives Zapier add-on and then use the new donation trigger it's important that you not use the new donor trigger because of the way the data is sent from your give website to Zapier uh, the address data specifically is not sent in a way that uh, handwritten can do anything with so uh, make sure to use a new donation as the trigger there and then you can uh, pull in uh, a donor from there. You can check to make sure everything uh, looks correct. That you've got the you know the donor, the um, uh, the address, all of those things like that that you need to pull into um, handwritten.com. And then next, I put in this filter. <clears throat> this is important for a number of reasons. Um, First, it's an only continue if filter. So essentially, you're telling Zapier, if these things are not true, I want you to stop. Um, if the donation total is not greater than 35, stop. The reason that I put that in there is because this process actually costs money at handwritten.com. It's about $3 to $5, depending on what type of card and what type of setup you've got. Uh, $3 to $5 just to send the card per card. So if you're getting a $2 donation and then spending $3 thanking them, that's not the, the best course of action. So you got to put in a stop there, basically a floor. You can put it at 35, you can put it at 50, 100, uh, wherever you want to put it, um, just so that it makes sense uh, that you're only thanking donors at a certain level. For each one of these, you're able to, to find that data here. So donation total, which is the number one, this is a $1 donation that I sent as a test. Um, in order to set up this zap and then do that. And then the second thing here is because of the way <clears throat> that handwritten.com's um, Zapier add-on works, um, it actually only allows you to say the United States is um, the, uh, the location because it's not allowing you to pull in from your donation. I'll show you this more later, but because of that, I basically said you have to have it come from the U.S. The donor's address needs to be in the U.S. And that way it'll continue that way. So those are the two continue only if only continue if uh, statements. And if those two things are true, then it continues on to this action, which is a very simple delay by Zapier. And you can check the template here. Delay for one day. You can change that to one week, one month whatever you want to do there. Uh, that's so that it doesn't send the donation thank you note just absolutely immediately uh, because while automation is good, the appearance of automation is not the best. Uh, the goal of this is to, to thank your donors in a meaningful way. So you want to give it a little bit of a buffer there before it sends out. So if all of those things are true and it's been a day from the donation showing up, we're going to tell them to send a card. This is where you will select uh, in the action app, you type in handwritten, spell it like that, and it'll pull up. You select that and go to the next page. There's really only one thing you can do with the handwritten Zapier app, and that's send a card. Um, next up, you have to connect handwritten.com uh, to your Zapier account. Um, in order to connect an account, you just click this button. It pops up with this modal that has email and password. For that reason, uh, when you're connecting up to Zapier, or when you're connecting to Handwritten to start with, make sure that you create a pa email and password 
uh, combination uh, to be to be able to connect up to Zapier. Once that's connected, um, you can see my account is already connected. You'll go and edit the template. This is where the magic happens. So first is all the sender information. This is me as the uh, the one receiving the donation um, and sending out a card. Uh, my name, my address, and business name. Um, and all of that will be the same for all of the cards that I send. Then you get into the recipient's information. So the recipient name, for this, we have the ability to pick from all of the data in step one. Everything that came in in step one on that test donation, you do that. Now this is the front and center of the envelope recipient name, so you want full name. So select donor's full name, and then plop that in there. Uh, if you have a business name, if your Give website collects company name, is what we call it on Give side, but if you select a company name or collect a company name on Give side, you can then input that there. All the way down, uh, address one, address two, city, state, and zip. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, because this is actually pulling from handwritten.com uh, instead of pulling from the donation um, side of things, it gives you a list of countries, and so you obviously don't want to put in um, a country other than the one that the donor gave you. So one thing that I did find is that if you scroll all the way to the bottom here, to the end of the list, you can use a custom value, and that populates this additional field that then you could pull in from uh, the donation data that's coming in from Give. However, I'm, I'm not sure if that works. I'm, I'm unable to test that. Obviously, you want to take out the United States and then pull in uh, from the uh, donation itself. So that might work. It might not. Uh, to be safe uh, for this tutorial, I went ahead and set up uh, where it will only send from uh, the United States, and that way uh, I know that it works. Next up, you've got uh, the ability to pick uh, the style of card. So if you go to handwritten.com and, you know, go to start writing, they call it, W-R-Y-T-I-N-G, um, here's all of the different card styles. And you can select uh, one, you know, they'll load more in here, and there's a ton of different styles. I like this craft thank you card, and that shows up in the list here, craft thank you. Again, you open this, it's going to pull in the list of available cards from handwritten, sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to actually pull those in, uh, but once those are pulled in, and it's going to take extra long because I'm watching it. Once those are pulled in, you can see I chose craft thank you here, and that pulls that in. Next up, you're going to pick the writing style. Um, that you can do on the next page here. So if I say send one card, I'm not actually going to send it, but I can use this to put in some test text. Um, and thank you. And there's Casual David. I like Tenacious Nick. He looks the most like my personal handwriting. Um, and so I chose Tenacious Nick, but you can go through, and there's lots of different um, uh, text styles or writing styles. Um, once you pick, pick the one that you like, I chose Tenacious Nick. You can put that in there. And this next box is the actual text that is handwritten uh, using robots on handwritten.com. So you write in, dear, step number one, Ben. You can put in these merge fields anywhere in the um, donation or anywhere in this text. So that's pretty uh, magnificent. So again, don't go overboard uh, with the automation here. Uh, it's just a simple thank you um, to, to tell the donors you appreciate them giving. You can add a gift card and a denomination. That's another feature of handwritten.com. Uh, I'm not going to use that. And then you select your credit card from the handwritten.com settings uh, where you've set a credit card in their settings, and that allows it to send. Once you're done with that, you click Continue. And then <clears throat> you've got the option to test. Now, beware, this will send a live test to someone. So it'll charge you $3 and send a handwritten card to whatever address is up here. 
in my case, since I created a fake donation to pull in this um, data, um, that would send a fake donation uh, or a fake uh, fake card, real card to a fake person. Um, so just be aware of that. Don't test it unless this is real data that you really want to be sent um, to a real donor. And there you have it. So once that's done, you click finish and your zap is ready to turn on. I've already named mine, so it didn't ask for a name here, but if you haven't named it, there'll be a field right here that asks for your name and gives you the opportunity to add that there. Once you turn that on, you're good to go. It is automatically going. I would recommend sending a couple of test donations uh, that have real addresses uh, after you turn on the zap just to ensure that it works, but also beware, those will cost you $3 a piece. Uh, to send those donations or send those test cards. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'd love to help out in the comments below. Thanks a bunch.